bit guys coming at you here with just a little bit of new stuff added to the stash just thought I'd uh, let you guys in on what the new latest additions are first one we have here is the Ravel Porsche Carrera RS 3.0 just picked this one up last week and Looks to be an interesting kit. Haven't tried this before. Looking to see what Ravel's got in these new boxes. It's one of the first ones that I've picked up in their new style of kits. Or newer. New to me, anyway. So, uh, this should be interesting to see exactly what's going on in here. So, that's our first new edition. Second new addition is one of my favorite Batmobiles of all time. We're looking at the Batman Dawn of Justice Batmobile which is an awesome Batmobile one of my favorites. Let me see if I can turn down the light in here a little bit so you give guys a better look at it. And unfortunately we still have a little bit too much reflection in there. But as you can see here, I loved this version of the Batmobile when it first debuted in Batman vs. Superman. This is one of the coolest Batmobiles that they have ever designed. And I cannot wait to start working on this. This is from Moeba's Models. Fully detailed. And cannot wait to get started on this one. All right, let's move on to the next one, which we have the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 from Star Trek Discovery and now of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. We've got to get a lighting kit for this one. It's already been a few YouTubers have already gone over it and built it up. And uh, looks to be a really neat kit. So I'm going to be looking forward to this one. But there is a lighting kit available. As you can see there. Sort of. So I will be getting the lighting kit before I start tackling this one. Alright, now for something a little bit different. I recently went to the museum, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, and picked this up. They have an event there which is called Automania, is the name of the exhibit there. If you're in the New York area, you should check it out. It's a really interesting exhibit. Basically, it's all about how the automotive world has impacted the world and how car design has changed over the years and they have a few examples there of some really classic automobiles like a Jaguar E-Type, a Volkswagen Beetle, uh, among several others and uh, it's a really interesting exhibit. You guys should check it out if you're in the New York area. And I picked this up which is a small scale model of an Alfa Romeo 2600 Sprint. So let's pull it out of the box and see what we got. I haven't had a chance to look at this. Here it is in its packaging. It's got this nice retro styled box. It's heavy kit, so it is a die cast metal box. And what do we got here? Exact reproduction from the manufacturer's drawings. Spring action and opening doors. Patented. Hmm. This has got opening doors. Alright, so let's pop her open and see what we got in here. I love these smaller scale cars. This appears to be 143rd scale, I think. And let's take a really good look at this here. Wow, this is nicely detailed. 
Here we have our famous Alfa Romeo badge. No opening hood. Body proportions, nice. Um, no chassis detail. And, oh yeah, they are spring-loaded doors. Here, let's see if we can get a look at the interior. Let's bring the light up a little bit now and see if we can get you a look in that interior there. This is a nice little scale model. Opening doors. Here we have nice tail lights are painted in. You have your license plate. Oh, seats actually have a little forward. And rear movement for the seat backs. All in all, it's a very nice die cast. Retro style, retro packaged of the Alfa Romeo 2600 Sprint. Could use a little detailing, which maybe I will, or maybe I'll just leave it this way. As I do like the fact that it comes in this box, very similar to the old Matchbox cars. Nice little souvenir from the Automania event. And I like it. Give you a really good look at this. And you can see the wheels. Simple bit of simple tread on the tires. Tires are very thin. Very narrow tires, which would probably be period correct. Now for a 2600 there. And whatever that means down there. Decent quality paint on the body. About what you would expect from something like this. This is made in Bangladesh, which I would have expected maybe China, but no, it's made in Bangladesh. Interesting. It's got all the important details correct. And again, could probably just use a little detail painting, such as the chrome trim around the windows. Highlighting the turn signals here. Maybe a maybe a black wash over the grill. It'll be interesting to see if I decide to go ahead and do a little something here. I haven't decided yet. As I said, I may just leave it that way. It's a nice little souvenir from the exhibit. Put it right back in its box. Interesting the box, you can see the body color of the car right through it. And then we're just going to put this away. So there we go. Just a cool little souvenir from the Automania exhibit at the New York Metropolitan Museum of